going on everyone I got a brand new video for you guys today and a lot of people always keep asking me Zach what do you pick up this month you get so much stuff in your background well I'm gonna start doing this I'm gonna do my blu-ray and pop hauls now it's mostly gonna be blu-rays but I do collect some pops I've kind of tried to tone it down but I have been getting some and I actually got a lot more this month than I thought I did so let's discuss it First, we're going to start with my pops, go into this, and also, guys, make sure to share down below what was your favorite thing that I collected this month, and also, what did you collect this month? Did you collect any cool pops or Blu-rays? Let's talk about it down below in the comments, but of course, let's get this started. Coming first, this is one of the first pops I got this month, Agumon, Digimon, I'm a big Digimon fan, I love Agumon, he's one of my favorite, like, just characters from that show, and I was really glad to see that they finally got Digimon. I am still looking for Gabumon, though, so I'm hoping I can find him soon, but yeah, Agumon's a great one. We got the Brave Little Taylor, uh, this the Mickey's 90th um, anniversary pop, uh, pops finally came out. There's a ton more coming out, but this is the Brave Little Taylor one. And then we have Conductor Mickey. Really like this one. Of course, we also have Steamboat Willie, which is the one that I've been like dying for. Like the original is like $300 and I really want that one. But man, I'm just glad that I have finally have something to represent in this room as Steamboat Willie. It's my favorite cartoon of all time. And I really hope they make a pop ride of him uh, driving the ship. I think that'd be really cool. We also have Firefighter Mickey, which this one's really cute too. Um, I, again, like I, I'm a big Mickey Mouse fan. Like uh, again, Steamboat Willie is like one of my favorite cartoons of like all time, and I've just like really enjoyed that. But then we also have a Princess Mickey, which of course from Fantasia. This one's adorable too. The original Fantasia is like $300 Funko Pop, and I actually prefer this one more with the bucket, so I like this one, and I hope we get like maybe a pop moment of him on the hill with Charnarble. I can never say the name right. But also, they've been doing these director lines. Of course, you can see Taika Waititi and James Wan behind me, but I also have Alfred Hitchcock, which this one is one of my favorites that I've gotten. I'm, I, I like a lot of Hitchcock's films, but I didn't grow up on them, but I think the pop is really cool having the psycho little clackboard on there. Then I also got one of my favorite directors of all time, Del Toro. I was so happy to see this was a comment. They make some of these so many exclusives. I'm missing two director pops now, which is James Gunn and Paul Feig. I plan on getting those one day. I just can't buckle down and spend $300 on each one of them. But Del Toro, really like this pop. And the one of the last ones I also got was from the Funko Shop. It's the Snap, Crackle, and Pop. These ad icons, I have like a love-hate relationship for. I really want to collect them all, but at the same time, they're hard to sell to get because most of them are off that Funko website and it's like a race to get them all. I have like five other ones and then I just got King Ding Dong that should be coming in next month. So yeah, I really like the Snap, Crackle, and Pop. I think they're pretty cute. Now moving on to the next one. This is the one that I, I, I hate when Disneyland does this, but I love all their pops. And this is the new Haunted Mansion one. I already have all the other Haunted Mansion ones behind me. So this was an easy one that I had to pick up. It was Ezra in the buggy. I think this one's awesome. I just love the whole buggy effect. Haunted Mansion is one of my favorite rides there, so I adore it. And then if you can't see this little Splash Mountain one, I do have the box for it, but I took it out because I just love the pop so much. I, I, I love this ride and the characters, and I have to have it. And I might as well mention this Batman Beyond statue I also picked up this month. I love it. Like, I, I love that statue so much. It's it's literally like 30 bucks, and it's that's what I got it for. It was a great deal. So the last pop I did pick up this month was the Red Skull versus Captain America movie moment. This pop is badass. I think the first Captain America is a very underrated film, but I just love the look of it. Red Skull is a cool character, Captain America, and they're just facing off in the battle sequence, and I love it. This is the pop that you guys need to pick up. Now we move on to the other things that I picked up. Of course, this is my Blu-rays. Now, I do have two video games mixed in here because two great video games did come out in September, and they are on Blu-ray disc, so I might as well mention them. That is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I love this game. I think it's the second best in the whole trilogy. If you've never played this trilogy, it's worth your time. And, of course, Spider-Man. I love this game. It's my favorite game of this year, even over God of War. Hell, it, I don't know, it's gonna go back and forth for those, but I just love what they did the, the, with the portrayal of Spider-Man here, and I adored it to all heavens. Now, going into my Blu-rays, I have Den of Thieves, a film that I've been wanting to pick up. It was like 10 bucks at Best Buy. It was a no, like a no-duh deal to pick this one up. I love Den of Thieves. I thought it was a blast. The first time I saw it, I was a little bit iffy on it. I, I said, I, I didn't feel like all the crime elements were there. Then I watched it again, and I was like, I don't know what the hell I was talking about. This game, this movie is a blast to watch. But now I finally got a steelbook and a 4K that I've been wanting to pick up for a while, but I couldn't warn it, but it was on sale. It's usually 40 bucks, but I got the Deadpool two-year anniversary 4K steelbook for the original Deadpool. Of course, Deadpool is one of my favorite films of all time. I think this is the masterpiece of a superhero film. I know some of you guys think it's kind of overrated, but I don't. I Deadpool 
is one of my favorite superheroes and this is definitely one of my favorite films and I just I just love the steelbook it, it's definitely better than the original one but as a 4k I needed the 4k for Deadpool and I also picked up moon from Zia records if you guys are ever in Arizona or the Las Vegas area go check out Zia records because they I, most of my movies come from Zia because they you wait a couple weeks you go in there there's tons of movies used and you get them all um, moon have not watched it I need to though it's the only film that I haven't seen by Duncan Jones so that, that he's made so I need to really watch this and Sam Rockwell's a really underrated actor American Animals most underrated film of this year well one of them there's actually quite a few underrated films in the year that I gotta talk about but American Animals is fantastic Bart Layton the director is going to be a superstar count me in right now another 4k picked up American Psycho one of my favorite films probably my favorite Christian Bale film this film is just so good if you've never seen it check it out it's a great film to watch during the Halloween times I also picked up Blockers. Now this film it says it was $13.99, but I actually got it for five bucks. And Blockers is a really underrated comedy this year. I had a blast watching this. I didn't think it was as funny as some people said it was, but I thought the dynamics between the younger kids in here were superb. This is really like the girls version of Superbad, and I really enjoyed that aspect. The other thing I got picked up was the Jurassic World Collection. This is all five Jurassic World movies, all in 4K. This is the Steelbook version, and I really like the Steelbook. I had to pick it up i know some people weren't the biggest fans of fallen kingdom i enjoyed it i thought it was fine i thought it was a little disappointing towards the back half but i wanted to get the first jurassic park and definitely jurassic world and um jurassic park 2 on 4k so pretty much it was like three of the uh, three out of the five films i absolutely really enjoy even though i kind of think fallen kingdom's a better film than the second one I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion, but I'm just being honest. To get to my other 4K I picked up is Hereditary. This is one of the best horror films in the last couple of years. Definitely one of the best films of this year. Tony Clegg gives one of the best performances of this year. Really, really, really good movie. I cannot wait to rewatch it. I know some of you guys hated this movie. I get the hate. If you hated it, I understand. If you loved it, I understand. If you just thought it was fine. I understand that too. But it's worth watching to get your own opinion, especially if you're a horror fanatic. Then we get to the Alien vs. Predator, the double feature. These movies suck. I picked them up so I could do my ranking of the Predator. Now we go to a 4K movie that I still have not watched. It's Gladiator. This is one of the films that is not in my filmography, but I cannot wait to watch it. I plan on probably, probably watching it later this week, but I can't wait to enjoy my time with Russell Crowe and Walking Phoenix. Now we get to one of my last 4Ks as well. That's going to be Halloween. This is John Carpenter. This film just came out. Man, I, I wanted to prepare for the original Halloween. I have not watched this film since I was probably like 12 years old. So it's been a long time and I barely remember it. But man, I love this film. Like the fact that I, I'm so mad at myself that I finally just rewatched it because this film still holds up. A lot of that eerie and creepiness factor holds up because Carpenter's score in here is so damn masterful. If you've never seen Halloween, this is the best time to pick it up for the new one. Pick it up. The 4K is the way to go. It literally looks stunning. I cannot, like 4K has done something. I was really against it at first. I was like, oh, it's just like a little bit. No, it's, there's a graphical difference and it's hard to go back to other films like that. Moving on, we also got tagged this month I love this film this film made me laugh it was heartwarming at times I thought the cast was all great I actually do really want a sequel with this cast involved with the same scenarios that they're going through it is a blast of a film it's a film that you definitely if you miss this comedy go check it out between this and game night we are having a fantastic year for comedies and one of the most underrated films this year upgrade I love this film came out of it i gave it a b minus c plus time thing then i sat on i sat i saw it again i'm like man the action here is incredible i think my only issue with the film is really the ending i thought it was a little bit cliche and a little disappointing but overall i think the action if you want a good b rated sci-fi action thriller with some mortal combat action in there upgrade is for you and it carries a fantastic performance by logan marshall green now another 4k that i picked up is tomb raider alicia vikander is tomb raider i got this for actually again at zia for 15 bucks it says 21.99 but it was on sale so i like this film i enjoyed it i'm a big fan of the tomb raiders of course that you saw from my video games and we might as well talk about the other 4k i picked up laura croft the tomb raider uh angelina jolie this is probably my favorite one um i know it's more of a guilty pleasure but i enjoy the hell out of this and i think it's a ton of fun angelina jolie kicks so much ass then we go to one of the films that I actually got sent, of course, by Sam Sean Films to review, and that's Tucker and the Man of His Dreams. This is the first time I ever watched it. It stars Jeff Bridges. It's the 30th 
anniversary, and it's a Francis Ford Coppola movie. This film was good. It was decent, and Jeffrey Bridges gives one of the best performances of his career. I like it, and if you've never seen it, check it out. Now, here comes another 4K that I picked up at Zia, and I got this for not even joking. $10 for all three of these movies. Spider-Man, the limited edition Spider-Man trilogy, Sam Raimi's trilogy. The Holy Bible right here, my friends. I enjoy three. Three's fine. There's some problems with it, but man, one and two, as much as they're not, like, I don't think some elements hold up to them, this is still a fantastic watch, and I have so many nostalgic feelings with this Bible. Move on to one of my favorite and probably one of the most underrated films of Guy Ritchie's filmography, and that is Rock and Rolla. Never seen this film, it's enjoyable. It has that Guy Ritchie dialogue, it has Gerard Butler, it has Tom Hardy in one of his first performances, and it even has um that guy who played uh Victor Stone. No, not Victor Stone, that that's Justice League. It's the dude, it's Doctor Doom from the new Fantastic Four stick, that great actor Toby Kebbell that no one talks about because he's always in crappy movies. He's in this and he's fantastic. And Mark Strong also shows up in here. I really liked it. Here's another steelbook I got. This is actually, I'm not joking, it's glow in the dark. I really like the steelbook. I think it's one of the most cool steelbooks. I've been wanting to pick up Nightmare for uh Christmas on uh, Blu-ray for a while because I've only had the DVD, but it came out on Steelbook. I found the Steelbook. I thought it sold out, but I found it and I was like, oh, hey, that's a cool thing. And I like the insides of it really well. And I haven't gotten to watch it yet. I know my sister watched it, but I can't wait to check it out myself. And here's another Steelbook I did get. I did get the Solo Steelbook. It's the 4K version. I get it. People don't like the movie that much. I thought it was fun. For me, I think this film is the definition of what a Star Wars, when it says a Star Wars story, this is a Star Wars story. It's a definitive adventure, a fun adventure of that, and Solo is a blast to watch. If you have not checked it out, go check it out yourself. And of course, I also did get sent these last two movies, and I obviously bought versions for them because I already had them pre-ordered, but it was Solo on Blu-ray. I got this to review, and it was a lot of fun going through the special features. I would have liked a little bit more of the background things of Ron Howard coming in so late, but I know they're not really going to get into that. And then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, again, I got to send this on 4K from Universal, of course, the sandwich on films. I liked it. Again, you already got my thoughts from the Steelbook version, but um, I liked it. I I liked it. I'll, I'll leave it right there. <laughs> so, but guys, that is my September haul. Tons of stuff. I, it makes me look back and say, man, I spent a lot of money on dumb stuff, but I enjoy it. And that's what's being that's what's great about being a nerd. You spend money on stuff that you, we don't need, but we really do want. Guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are on this haul. What is your favorite thing that I picked up? What's your favorite thing that you picked up? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. If you're new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below because we also do giveaways. We do advanced screens. We do movie news and even movie reviews over there. So you guys do not want to miss out on that. Of course, guys, you guys got a bunch of different things coming up on this channel. Phoenix Film Festival is coming up. If you guys live in Phoenix, make sure to go check that out. And of course, guys, if you're new here hit that like and subscribe button too and of course until next time stay classy